Good evening. Good evening, Arab brothers. Come in. Good evening. We are going to Mecca and we lost our way. Sit a while until you are refreshed, and then we will set you on your road. Where do you come from, my friend? From the tribe of Al-Hari. Ally of Abu Sufyan ibn Harab. My friends, you are more than welcome in our midst. Abu Sufyan ibn Harab is our friend, too. Yeah. And you? From the tribe of Bani Maksum. When were you last in Mecca? Yesterday. How, how is it now? Not good. It is a treacherous place for all. Muhammad ibn Abdullah is claiming to be a prophet bearing glad tidings from heaven to man. They have exiled him from his tribe and refuted what he says. People have been warned against talking to him, and those men who dare to do so are taking a great risk. Why will men not listen to what he has to say? There are some who listen, but they are not many. For he has been accused of lying, of being a soothsayer, of being a magician, of being a lunatic. By all the gods. I think I go along with Utbah's opinion. And what is Utbah's opinion? He was sent by the Quraysh to Muhammad and said, if you have this title to make money, to be rich, then make money you shall, for we will give you money. Or if what you wish for is sovereignty, we will make you our king. Well, did he accept? He gave no answer. He just recited something to Utbah. Something that penetrated the very depth of his being and made him into a different person. He claimed to have heard words that no man had ever spoken before. It wasn't poetry, it wasn't magic, or a madman's ravings. So now Utpa is a Mohammedan. That is not true. He is not an impulsive man. He simply requested that the Quraysh would leave Muhammad in peace and not bother him. Should he be defeated by the Arabs, we will not be part of it. While if he is victorious and men do begin to follow him, then we will follow him too. It is a wise decision. What did the Quraysh say? They said, he has cast a spell on you, Utpa. And Utpa answered, it is my opinion we should do this, but you may do as you will. Uh, let us eat, let us eat. Woe be to Mecca. You got a good fortune, my lord? You don't want to anger him, do you? Eh? The god of good fortune. The god of good fortune. I grant you a happy morning. How fun. Welcome. If you will wait, I shall be ready in a moment. Does he understand the danger? Has he kinsmen to protect him against the Quraysh? No, but he wishes to pass his message on to the Quraysh. His way is to let them hear the Quran. 
Who will help him if he needs it? His God. The reminder supported him. And feareth the beneficent in secret. What's this? To him, Bertrand. Even Masood is reciting the Quran of Muhammad. A slave? This is disgraceful. You are to go over there and all of you clap your hands loudly so that nobody shall hear it. How is a man to bear such disgrace? They said, Ye are but mortals like unto us. With hardship goeth he. Beneficent hath not with revealed. Him. The apostle of God also claimed. Ye do but lie. Deliverance is coming. I they wish answer. to see him. Our Lord knoweth that we are Children indeed sent unto you. Tell me, I beg of you, does he have an ulterior motive? By our God, no. He has neither lied nor been treacherous. Even the Quraysh call him the honest one. Enough, my children. السلام عليك يا رسول الله no one to protect you. Lucky that Hantala came along. Yes, but for his courageous intervention, you would be dead by now. The enemies of God. I have never been as despicable as now. If all of you wish it, I shall recite the Quran again tomorrow. For what reason were they beating him? It is because they do not want to listen to the word of God. The word of God? An apostle has been sent to us by God to lead us out of darkness into light. This apostle has revealed to us a book which is called Quran, which shall show us the way to honor and integrity. Can you recite any of the Quran? Yes, my lord. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Inna anzalna hu fi laylat al-Qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylat al-Qadr. Laylat al-Qadr khair min alf shahr. تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى
قدامك الله الف By all the gods, I shall lie in wait for Muhammad with a large stone, and if he should bow his head in prayer, I shall smash his infidel head with it. You should not be allowed to walk the face of this earth. Muhammad is a sorcerer. Asham, welcome. Are you here on a pilgrimage? No, my uncle. I'm here... I'm here to pay off the most urgent of my debts. There is no more righteous or honest man among you. He brings you his tidings in good faith, and you call him a sorcerer. But he is no sorcerer. Then he is a priest. No, he is not a priest. Admit rather that the Quaraish is afraid of losing its influence among the other tribe. We were always equal in our endeavors. When you gave protection, arms, food, or clothing, and we as a tribe did likewise. And you claim a prophet is among you. When shall a prophet be among our own? Or do the Hashemites want this honor for their tribe alone without the Quraysh? Come. Blasphemed against our gods. He is an apostate, one of Muhammad's followers. Why do you persecute the Mohammedans, Abu Sufyan? All men have the right to believe what they will. Muhammad has corrupted our slaves, our children, even our women. And my daughter. Yes, my daughter, Om Habiba, is a convert. She has the right to her own beliefs as well. But not only did she become converted to this Muhammad, my daughter emigrated to Abyssinia with a party of Muslim emigrants. Under such oppression, I leave my home too. It is not so easy, Hashem. This man has already sown seeds of discord amongst us. His words have the power of magic, and families are turning against families, friends against friends, even men against their wives and mothers. I fear for your father and his people, so believe me, this heart is sincere. You must not speak to him. You must not ever listen to him either. so easy, This man has already sown seeds of discord amongst us. His words have the power of magic, and families are turning against families, friends against friends, even men against their wives and mothers. Why will men not listen to what he has to say? There are some who listen, but they are not many. For he has been accused of lying, of being a soothsayer, of being a magician, of being a lunatic. No, he is not a priest. Admit rather that the Quaraish is afraid of losing its influence among the other tribes. And what is it, Bazir? He was sent by the Quraysh to Muhammad and said, if you have assumed this title to make money, to be rich, then make money you shall, for we will give you money. For if what you wish for is sovereignty, we will make you a king. Well, did he accept? He gave no answer. He just recited something to Utbah. Something that penetrated the very depth of his being and made him into a different person. I fear for your father and his people, so believe me, this heart is sincere. You must not speak to him. You must not ever listen to him either. Truth. But 
Which is my lord? Are you the greatest? Or you? Or you? Or you? Who will answer me? Which of you will give me the truth? Do not leave me on the horns of dilemma. Can you not see the injustice that has befallen our people? Where is the truth? Truth, truth, where is the truth? Can you not show me the path that I must take in this time of indecision? Can you not guide our people away from this turmoil that threatens our very existence? I beg of you, can you not speak? No, no, you cannot speak. You are not but stone, without reason. You cannot reason. You cannot reason. You cannot reason. You are nothing. اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى Oh, up I say, the 
leave him alone. You would slay a man when your trade route passed by the very tents of his own encampment. He is Hashem ibn al-Hari. So I see that you were deceived by Muhammad's teachings, my boy. I warned you that his words were dangerous. We do not want your father to hear of this. Collect your... My lady, he is here. My lord Hashem has arrived. Hashem. Hamtala. I can see his smile. That surely means he's avenged Hassan. 